Hi there, Luke here with another video. For those of you who are new to our channel, my husband Tyler and I make weekly travel videos where we document our experiences since moving from North America to the UK, as well as our goal of eventually visiting every country in Europe before our visa ends at the end of 2023. So stay tuned, subscribe and like if you wanna see more content like this and to see if we are able to reach our goal. If you watched our last video, you'll know that we had recently come back from traveling and settled in the West Midlands, specifically in the city of Shrewsbury. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about some of the things that we did more locally in the West Midlands, primarily focusing where we were living in Shropshire, but we'll also be taking you up to Chester as well. Starting off, let's talk about some of the things that we enjoyed doing very locally in Shrewsbury itself. One of the main highlights to visit in Shrewsbury is Shrewsbury Castle, which is right next to the train station. So we enjoyed pretty early on when we were just kind of getting our bearings about our new home. We explored this area and just really enjoyed walking around. You get really nice views from this higher vantage point as well of some of the pretty buildings in Shrewsbury. Speaking of buildings, Shrewsbury has these iconic half-timbered houses. This is a very distinctive style of architecture that we just love. It really stands out and Shrewsbury is full of this type of architecture. So if you like this particular type of building, Shrewsbury is a great place to visit for that. Another fun fact about Shrewsbury is that it is actually the birthplace of Charles Darwin. Just south of the town centre is the quarry where you can walk along the River Severn and it has a really nice natural park-like atmosphere to appreciate and enjoy. On a sunny day, this is a popular place to go, so if you like people watching, this is a nice place to visit. Outside of Shrewsbury, there are plenty of other really cute small towns that you can easily visit, either by driving or, in our case, we frequently took a bus or a train because we did not own a car in Shrewsbury at this time. So let me walk you through some of the local small towns that you can check out as well. First off, we have Ludlow. Once we arrived in Ludlow by train, we enjoyed walking around the perimeter of the city. Finally, we made our way south to Ludlow Castle. You can get nice views of the castle if you go to Dunham Bridge. This is a really nice photo spot as well, particularly if you're there on a sunny day like we had. The town itself is really cute and nice to walk around as well, particularly if you're there on a weekend, on a day that happens to have the market running, because they have nice local vendors that are selling various goods as well as some tasty foods that we enjoyed trying. Finally, a nice place to visit in Ludlow is St. Lawrence's Church, which is a 12th century building that features beautiful wooden ceilings and a large bell tower. Another local spot in Shropshire is Ironbridge. We personally got to Ironbridge directly from Ludlow. Mind you, this was a pretty busy day, so if you're doing it, you probably would not prefer to do it this way, but we wanted to capitalize on the good weather that we had this day, so we packed it all into one day. 
but if you are there yourself, you might want to separate it out a bit and have a bit more time to appreciate and explore. The main highlight of Iron Bridge is featured in its name. It's an iron bridge. In fact, it is a UNESCO World Heritage recognized iron bridge because it kind of symbolizes the beginning of the iron industrial age. So this was, I believe, the first iron bridge structure in the whole world. So this was kind of seen as the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, where we started to make buildings, bridges, and other types of infrastructure with more complex materials like iron. So it's kind of a historically significant area, but also it's really just quite pretty. So it's a cute small town that has this iconic bridge as its main focal viewpoint. So definitely check it out if you're in the area. We just enjoyed walking around the town, exploring some of the cute little shops, as well as getting the various different views of the bridge, as well as the town and the water from the bridge. Definitely worth a visit. There is also the Museum of the Gorge, but unfortunately we weren't able to visit it because it was closed due to COVID. But if you happen to visit at a different time when these things are open, that might be something worth checking out as well. Next up, we have the town of Church Stretton which again, we arrived to by train. This town is nestled right in the Shropshire Hills, which is a really pretty hilly area to enjoy different hikes and walks. When we were there, there was a really nice dusting of white snow all along the hills, and that was really enjoyable to appreciate the view, especially with the way that the sun was hitting the white snow. Really nice walk at any time of year. Another great hike that we enjoyed was at Stiper Stones Nature Reserve. This one we got to by bus rather than by train, and it's a little bit trickier to get to because the bus times are a little more infrequent. We enjoyed hiking to the top and getting really nice panoramic views of the rolling hills, as well as some of these really distinctive stone formations that you see on this particular hike. So we just enjoyed taking our time, taking pictures, even enjoying a picnic lunch at the top. So definitely enjoy if you are here. It's a really great spot to visit if you want a breath of fresh air and to enjoy some of the outdoors. Another enjoyable area to visit near Shrewsbury is Hodnet Hall. The main attraction of this town is the Hodnet Hall Gardens, but when we arrived it was a little bit before opening time, so we decided to just walk around and explore the church, St. Luke's Church. And we had a nice conversation with the pastor here who was from Belfast and we reminisced about our experience of living in Belfast ourselves. This town is super tiny, so there's not a lot of things to see. It's pretty much just one cross street without much else to do. So when the gardens opened, we headed straight there and enjoyed a lot of the really pretty, well manicured gardens and views that you get from this garden.
after we were done exploring the gardens, we enjoyed some afternoon tea and cake outside their little tea room. At this time, you had to eat outdoors because of COVID restrictions, but I imagine once those are lifted that you could eat inside if it's a little bit chillier. Another area of Shropshire that we really enjoyed was Bridge North. We parked in Severn Park where we enjoyed a nice picnic lunch. And this is just a nice outdoor area to enjoy some of the views of the town, as well as just enjoying being outdoors. Bridge North is kind of divided into two, what you could call, I guess, a low town and a high town. So we started off just kind of walking around the low town, experiencing some of the cute little streets and shops. And then we progressively made our way higher and higher, walking up these steep hills in order to reach the high town. If walking up steep hills isn't your idea of a good time, there is a funicular available if that is something you would prefer. Some things we enjoyed in the high town included visiting St. Mary's Church, as well as visiting some of the castle ruins that are up here as well. This was a really cute area to get a cup of coffee as well, just sit on the grass and enjoy some of the sunny weather and the views that we got from up here. So really great spot to visit if you are in Bridge North you definitely have to go up to the high town and appreciate some of the views from above. Last but not least is the town of Chester. Technically, Chester is not in Shropshire. It's actually in the county of Cheshire. But I'm including it here because it was kind of one of the main small town visits that we made in this region of the West Midlands that was outside of Shropshire. Unfortunately, the weather was not great when we were in Chester and we may consider going back if we happen to be in the region, but we still had a great time enjoying the beautiful architecture, the distinctive walkways that you have, not just on street level, but also on a raised level where they had these stores that were under a covered area. So that was kind of a fun way to walk around the town, especially on a rainy day like we had. Finally, a nice spot to visit in Chester is Chester Cathedral, which we enjoyed walking around and exploring before we headed for a nice lunch. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed having a little tour of this area of England that we happened to live in for about five months or so while we were working in Shrewsbury. I hope this gives you some ideas of not just the major parts of England in the UK that are available to visit, but also some of the smaller towns, because in my humble opinion, that is England at its best, is the tiny villages and towns that are plentiful in England. So definitely, if you are visiting the UK, be sure not to just do the big cities. Try and find some of the really cute smaller towns in England as well, because they really are a treat and are well with your time exploring. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, because it really helps us find the motivation to keep making these videos for you guys. Also, if you have visited some of these towns, or maybe have visited other towns in the area that you feel you want to share your experiences of and maybe just talk about some places that I missed or experiences that I missed, let us know in the comments down below and let all of us share these awesome experiences of this part of England. I'd love to hear where you guys have been in the area. Stay tuned for our next video where we take you to the Cotswolds as well as a nice little journey on our way back home that we did to Stratford-upon-Avon. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you then. Bye.